For as long as we've had planes, the basic rule of air combat has been pretty simple. If you can see it, you can shoot it down. From the first dogfights to today's stealth fighters, that single principle has shaped entire air forces. But what if that rule just broke? What if there's a weapon that flies so high and so blindingly fast, it just leaves missiles in the dust? This isn't some science fiction concept art or a secret prototype in a hangar. It's real, it's called the WZ-8, and it's a technological gut punch from China that threatens to make some of the world's most advanced air defenses obsolete. This is the story of the drone that's nearly impossible to catch, and it begs a pretty terrifying question. How on earth did they build it, and what does it mean for the future of war? Our story kicks off on October 1, 2019, at the 70th anniversary military parade in Beijing. Amid the parade of tanks and soldiers, something totally new was rolled through Tiananmen Square. It was black, sleek, and looked like it flew right out of a sci-fi movie. This was the world's first public glimpse of the WZ-8, which translates to Unmanned Reconnaissance-8. At first, analysts were floored. Everyone knew about advanced drones, but this was on another level. Its sharp, dagger-like design screamed one thing. Speed. But it wasn't until years later, when US intelligence documents were leaked, that the truly shocking details started to come out. The documents, allegedly leaked by a US Air National Guardsman, revealed that China had almost certainly established the first operational unit of these drones. They were based under its Eastern Theater Command, the exact command responsible for any potential conflict over Taiwan. Suddenly, the WZ-8 wasn't just a parade piece, it was a real-world threat. Satellite images from the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency confirmed it, showing these drones at Luan Air Base, seemingly being prepped for missions. The secret was out, China didn't just have a concept, it had a deployed, game-changing piece of military hardware. So, what's the big deal with the WZ-8? It's a machine built to master two things that make something hard to shoot down, speed and altitude. First, let's talk about how it even gets going. The WZ-8 doesn't take off from a runway. It's carried into the sky under the belly of an H-6M bomber, which acts as its mothership. Once the bomber gets high enough and fast enough, it releases the drone. At that moment, the WZ-8 fires up its own rocket engines and begins an absolutely breathtaking climb, accelerating to speeds and heights that were once reserved for space programs. Now, for the numbers that sound like they're pulled from a movie script. Leaked Pentagon documents and US intelligence analyses put the WZ-8's operational speed at a blistering Mach 3, three times the speed of sound, at an altitude of 100,000 feet. For perspective, the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, the fastest manned jet ever, topped out around 85,000 feet. The WZ-8 flies in the cold, thin air at the very edge of space. But those might just be the conservative estimates. The drone's manufacturer, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, has made even wilder claims, suggesting the WZ-8 could reach hypersonic speeds between Mach 6 and 7 in a mind-boggling altitude of 160,000 feet. While these higher numbers haven't been independently verified, the confirmed figures of Mach 3 and 100,000 feet already put the WZ-8 in a class of its own. This brings us to the core problem. How do you shoot down something moving that fast and flying that high? For most of the weapons in today's military arsenals, the honest answer is, you probably can't. The WZ-8's performance doesn't just challenge air defense systems, it threatens to make them irrelevant. Take a standard long-range air-to-air -air missile, like the American AIM-120 AMROM. It's a sophisticated weapon, but it tops out around Mach 4.5. That sounds fast, but physics is a cruel battlefield. To hit a target, a missile doesn't just have to match its speed. It needs way more energy to maneuver and close the distance. A missile fired from a fighter jet far below at a target screaming away at Mach 3 has a tiny window to even try and intercept before it runs out of gas. If the WZ-8 is flying at its claimed hypersonic speeds, it's not even a contest. The drone simply outruns the missile. Then there's the altitude. At 100,000 feet, the WZ-8 is flying far above the effective ceiling of most fighter jets and surface-to-air missiles. 
Only very specialized systems, like the American Thod Ballistic Missile Interceptor, can even reach those heights. But Thod is designed to hit ballistic missiles on a predictable arc, not a high-speed, potentially maneuvering aircraft. When you combine that speed and altitude with a sleek design that likely incorporates stealthy shaping and radar-absorbent materials, the WZ-8 becomes what military planners call a penetrating ISR asset. That means it's built to fly deep into heavily defended airspace, grab intelligence, and get out before anyone can do a thing about it. It's a ghost on the radar and a nightmare for defense planners. You don't build a weapon this advanced just to show it off. The WZ-8 has a very specific and dangerous job. Officially, it's an ISR platform, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. It's packed with advanced sensors, like synthetic aperture radar and electro-optical systems, that let it create highly detailed maps and images of targets, day or night, through any weather. Its mission profile, pieced together from those leaked documents, is chillingly clear. A bomber would carry it from an inland Chinese base, launch it over the sea, and the WZ-8 would then scream across hostile territory, like Taiwan or South Korea gathering vital data before gliding down to land at a coastal airfield. But its most dangerous job might be acting as a spotter for China's anti-access, area denial strategy. This strategy is designed to keep US forces, especially aircraft carrier strike groups, from operating safely in the Pacific. The biggest problem for China's carrier killer missiles, like the DF-21D, is finding and tracking a moving aircraft carrier in the open ocean. Satellites can be tracked and their orbits are predictable. But the WZ-8 isn't predictable. It can be launched on short notice, fly a unique path, and provide real-time, high-quality targeting data on a US fleet, closing the kill chain and turning a theoretical threat into a very real one. The WZ-8 isn't just a new piece of hardware, it signals a major shift in the balance of military technology. For decades, the United States has relied on its technological edge, especially in the air and at sea, to project power globally. This drone directly challenges that dominance in the Pacific. It creates a situation where US forces can be watched without being able to watch back, and targeted without being able to effectively defend themselves. This drone, and the high-speed technologies it represents, could force a total rethink of military strategy. How do you protect a carrier strike group from an untouchable spotter? How do you defend allied airspace when the intruder is simply too fast to intercept? Of course, the United States is scrambling to develop its own high-speed technologies, with programs like the SR-72 aiming to create a successor to the Blackbird. But as of today, the WZ-8 appears to be the world's most advanced operational reconnaissance drone of its kind. This technology gives China a more flexible and survivable surveillance tool than its rivals, one that isn't reliant on predictable satellites in a conflict. While it is not literally missile-proof, and future interceptors or directed energy weapons might one day be able to counter it, for now, the WZ-8 has created a profound and unsettling new reality. It's proof that the old rules of air power are being torn up and rewritten. This technological arms race is speeding up every day, with new breakthroughs constantly changing the game. If you want to stay ahead of the curve on these incredible military technologies and understand what they mean for our world, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on. The WZ-8 is more than a drone. It's a statement of intent from China and a powerful symbol of its rapidly growing technological muscle. By mastering extreme speed and high-altitude flight, it poses a difficult challenge to an entire generation of air defense strategies. It's a system designed to gather intelligence with a level of survivability that, until recently, was thought to be impossible. The race for high-speed supremacy is officially on, and the WZ-8 just fired the starting gun. It leaves us with a final, sobering thought. Will this kind of technology create a more stable world through deterrence, or will it make conflict more likely by appending the delicate balance of power? Let us know what you think in the comments below.